Hello and welcome to the update. I'm Heidi Tiltens. The PM has set an ambitious goal for Australians to be out of lockdown by Christmas, despite New South Wales posting a record number of COVID cases overnight. 356 new local cases have been reported. At least 57 of them were active in the community while infectious. Scott Morrison admitting New South Wales is in for a tough fight. Now, I want Australia to get to Christmas but I want everybody around that table at Christmas time, and we will do everything we can to ensure we achieve that goal. Half of Victoria's new local COVID cases are linked to a single Melbourne shopping centre. Out of the 20 infections, 10 were acquired at Caroline Springs Square and five work in the precinct. Queensland has recorded three new local cases. Unions are furious that businesses have been granted the right to ask their employees if they've been vaccinated against COVID. ACTU Secretary Sally McManus says it's the wrong approach. It just causes conflict. It's really unnecessary in workplaces around this issue and there's a whole different way we could go about this, which is all about supporting and encouraging people rather than sort of threat. The levels of sugar in some toddler snack foods are being put under the microscope. Almost half of the 78 products reviewed by Choice were at least 15% sugar. Briefly, the National Broadband Network has posted a massive profit turnaround as those working from home sought out better internet connections. A group of eight coalition MPs are demanding a diplomatic boycott of the Winter Olympics in Beijing. In sport, the International Cricket Council will push for the sport to be included in the Olympic Games from 2028. Cricket Cricket has made just one appearance in the Games. That was in Paris back in 1900. Aussies Don Millman and James Duckworth have advanced to the second round of the Canadian Tennis Masters and there will be no AFL Grand Final Parade and footy festival due to uncertainty from COVID-19. In entertainment news, the kid Leroy has found out during a live stream that he's COVID-free after thinking he'd tested positive. The Aussie star and his girlfriend had been quarantining themselves for the last seven days. Christine Applegate has revealed she's suffering from MS. The actress taking to Twitter to update fans saying it's been a tough road. And Machine Gun Kelly and his producer Travis Barker have been inked. The friends getting matching tattoos bearing the name of their new album, Born With Horns. And that's the latest from the Nova Podcast News team, but we'll see you tomorrow morning for another episode of The Update.